just going to start out with some chalk, I believe. I'm not sure how much to put in there, really. This will be a little bit conservative. The wax dries fairly quickly. I want to keep it pretty thick, so I guess I might as well go for it. It didn't really blend very well. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to soak in all that good. But we will see. It's blending pretty nicely, really. It's blended pretty well, but it doesn't really seem any thicker, so I'm going to add the rest of my chalk. It seems to have worked pretty well, so I'm going to try a little bit more in this, this green, kind of really see if I can max out the uh, load, so much I can load in there. Seems like this chalk really, really uh, goes a long ways. So here we go. Let's see how this works. It does seem thicker. I mean, it does seem to be going on. I think the question is, how, how will it flatten out when I... Yeah, it's definitely going on thicker. It's building up quickly. There's a definite grittiness to the the paint as well that I like. I mean, it feels pretty good. I mean, the problem with with this patch right here is it's very atypical now. It doesn't it doesn't seem like it's a part of the. Typically, if I hold my brush up like this, I, I don't get as many drips because these slots seem to hold the, the paint a little bit better. But you can see how, how the wax dries fairly quickly. It's, it's quite fascinating. Now one idea is to um, build up the pigment with the wax and then kind of go over the top with a thin layer. That might be I kind of adjust some of my hues so I can have a, a thick mixture. With this thicker pigment I can almost um, just sort of dry brush the pigment on and it just seems to build up so much quicker. Now I will have to fuse this on and it's probably not adequately fused and by fusing I just mean that it's it needs to be heated so that the uh, the layer will fuse with the layer beneath it. Before I try to blend I want to see how this, how this will scrape off. Huh. It's pretty tough. Seems like the chalk has toughened up the film, actually. That's, uh, that's quite a sharp tool there, and it's just barely... Oh, interesting. There we go. This is the tool to use right here. Yeah, this is working good. Can we kind of break up that edge, soften that edge a little bit? Scrape down to the original layer. That's not good. I mean, it seems like it really toughens up the paint film, which is not completely unexpected. That's what it does with oils as well. So, actually, I'm a little surprised because I thought it might make the uh, paint film seem a little gritty or grainy, but it isn't at all. So that's really 
quite surprising. These drips are very hard to get off though. They're, I mean, it just really makes it sticky. Sticky, sticky. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well I'm going to use the, the heat gun. I've cleaned up this round. So I'm expecting this to soften it up considerably. Let's see. But uh, it's it's softening the the wax that doesn't have the chalk first, so it's a little tricky that way. But so it's working pretty good. Um, the only thing I can complain about here is that uh, the the non-chalk pigment melts a lot sooner than the. Um, and the chalky pigment, which which could be a problem. I mean, what I might need to do is get one of those uh, plumber's heaters and, and use a, a torch on here, so I have a little bit more accurate heating of the areas. The theory here is working pretty good, actually. I don't think I don't think there's much problem with the theory. So I conclude that adding chalk to encaustic is a safe practice and it actually strengthens the paint film so I'll be using this in future paintings and um, I hope you will give it a try and let me know how it works for you